Welcome to Sage Audio. Today we're covering the top 14 free plugins in 2022. But first, if you have a mix that you need mastered, send it to us to receive a free mastered sample of it with the link in the description. Baby Come Back by Baby Audio. Baby Come Back makes some great plugins and have recently released three free ones, so let's cover these back to back. Baby Come Back is an awesome free delay plugin that offers five styles, including the default, wide, analog, sauce which has some longer decays, and a lo-fi setting. The time can be fixed to a note, dotted, or a triplet note, as well as set to a specific millisecond. Ping pong delay is available, as is variable feedback, a delay tap ducker, and dry and wet outputs. Let's listen and notice how greatly the five styles vary. Magic Dice by Baby Audio. Magic Dice is an algorithmic reverb that can vary greatly in style, decay, frequency response, and timbre, but everything is running behind the scenes. We can only control the two functions, which is the mix and the randomization, which occurs when clicking the die in the middle. Let's listen and notice how much the sound varies. If you're enjoying the video, hit the like button. It helps us bring you more videos. Magic Switch by Baby Audio. Similar to our last plugin, Magic Switch has a very simple and limited design, but this time around we know the effect that we're getting when we engage it. It's a simple but effective doubler that works well on vocals or for a creative effect on other instruments. Let's listen to the slight stereo expansion and the complexity that the doubling imparts onto the signal. DB Comp by Analog Obsession. Analog Obsession releases great free plugins, all of which can be found on their Patreon page, where you can support the developers and read about each plugin. DB Comp emulates the classic DBX160, which is great for hard knee compression that causes a nice punch to the bass and kick drum. We get simple controls with the threshold, compression amount, output, mix, and a high pass filter. Let's listen and notice how the compressor increases punch. Only a small percentage of people that watch our videos are subscribed, so if you're enjoying the video, consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always change your mind. ReLife by Analog Obsession ReLife is a simple but interesting plugin that I'm not 100% certain on what it's doing. The shape dial creates a boost to the lows, a dip to the low mids, and a boost to the highs, but I wasn't able to observe too much about the life dial. It sounds like a subtle exciter though, and has a nice clarifying effect on the signal. Let's take a listen and notice how the two main functions clarify the audio. Pred by Analog Obsession. Pred is a great emulation of the Chandler Limited Red Microphone preamps, which is based on the EMI Red preamps of Abbey Rhodes in the late 50s to 60s. It adds noticeable distortion and breakup when increasing the gain, while a high pass filter and high shelf are nice additions. You can pad the signal, reverse its polarity, and subtly change the gain. Let's listen and notice the vintage character that this plugin imparts. Room 041 by Analog Obsession. 
Analog Obsession's only reverb plugin is a great room emulation that offers some flexibility. We can alter the reflection separation, the pre-delay and the decay, change the wet dry, and introduce a preamp that adds some nice harmonic content, compression, and an optional high pass filter. Lastly, we get two band EQ. Let's take a listen to the quality of this reverb. If you're enjoying the channel, support us by joining with the link in the description. SSQ by Analog Obsession. The last of the five Analog Obsession plugins that we've covered, SSQ emulates a popular SSL equalizer. The starting setting's flat, which isn't always the case with the analog emulations, but then we can impart smooth, analog emulated EQ curves with only six samples of latency and minimum phase shifts. If we're using the high frequency band, we can also introduce oversampling by clicking on the Analog Obsession logo. Let's listen and notice the subtle and smooth changes that this EQ can create. Dirty Spring by BPB. Dirty Spring is a really unique combination of an analog emulation spring reverb, followed by distinctly digital distortion. With it, we can affect the decay length, pre-delay to preserve transients, shape the frequency response of the output, adjust the wet dry, and cycle through various digital distortions. Let's listen to this unique combination of effects. Orange Flavor by SNFK Music. SNFK is a new indie developer and their plugins have already greatly improved in design, sound, and overall stability. As we increase the drive dial, we can observe odd harmonics that vary in amplitude to the fundamental and to one another until higher settings where they descend in amplitude. Let's listen and notice how these odd harmonics fill out the sound and then harshly distort it. Initial Clipper by Initial Audio. Initial Clipper has a simple and effective design that lets you soft clip your peaks while visualizing the threshold and relative frequency of the signal. Positive saturation increases harmonics and reduces the fundamental, and so too does the negative dial, but when combined, they compress without harmonics. Let's listen and notice the distortion caused by the clipper and the fullness caused by the two saturation functions. Valvola by Hornet Plugins. If you're a fan of tube saturation, this is a great free plugin with which you can emulate seven different tube types. Each tube introduces a low and high pass filter and various harmonics that vary from tube to tube and the dialed in setting. The only issue I find with this plugin is the lowered threshold, which I wish I could control with an output gain dial. Let's listen to various tubes and notice their unique distortions. Gentle Drives by Brain Synthetic. Gentle Drives is a great alternative to the popular soft tube distortion, but with an output gain dial, which is always nice to have. It causes even and odd ordered harmonics up to the eighth order, meaning it should reduce the risk of aliasing when compared to some other distortion plugins. Let's listen and notice how the even and odd harmonic combination 
results in more complex distortion than just even or odd harmonic. Deesser Plus by Techovation. Free Deesser plugins are few and far between, so it's great to see a well designed one come out within this last year. In the free version, we can set our threshold, adjust the frequency range, which can be observed in the Pro Features frequency range, and set a threshold. Sharpness is the slope of the transition from compressed to not compressed. Let's listen to the unique quality that this Deesser has. If you have a mix that you need mastered, send it to us to receive a free mastered sample of it with the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching.